Yo guys, what is happening? Welcome back once again to another video on the channel. I'm just going to put a quick disclaimer at the start of this video because there's going to be strong language throughout. If you're a snowflake, if you're a miner, please turn the video off right now. If strong language and adult language basically triggers you or offends you, okay? Because there's going to be a lot of strong language. I'm talking about something which I'm very passionate about. And I want to use the language which I think is appropriate to get across what I actually think. So there you go, you've been warned. If you're still watching and then you complain about the language, well, it's not my issue. So, Activision. Activision, Activision, Activision. So, Activision Blizzard announced recently that hundreds of jobs are going to get cut, right? Um, its stock is plummeting, you know. First, we had Bungie. We had Bungie, you know, that it'd be ending his contract with the publisher, so obviously no more Destiny, you know, to, for him to sink the teeth into. Shares at the company drops around, what, 5%, I believe? Sorry, 2.5%. Currently, they're expecting sales to drop by 2% this year to, oh, hold on a minute, just to 7 billion, you know, 7 bill. Yeah, here, here mate, have a bill. Here, Dave the Rave, billion for you, mate. You know, it's not like... They're hard, you know, suffering from, you know, financial hardship, right? Well, apparently the layoffs to be part of the restructuring process aim to centralise functions and boost profits. Well, that is obviously 101 bullshit business talk. I'll tell you why there's going to be layoffs. Because you've got arsehole developers like this cunt, David Vonderhaar, who's got no idea what the fuck he is doing and he's got an ego that big that his ego is now affecting, you know, Call of Duty. You know, Treyarch used to be the number one Call of Duty developer. However, in my opinion, Black Ops 4 is the worst Call of Duty, well, the biggest disappointment I have ever had in a Call of Duty video game. Now, people can say, you know, Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare were probably the worst Call of Duties ever, but I, I genuinely think that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is the worst Call of Duty because, let's look at it, you're paying for reticles. Oh look, I got this reticle free, you know, in Black Ops 2, yet they're selling me the same exact reticle in this game for £2, for a quid or whatever. I'm like, wh wh what? what is going off? Why are people like, why are people even fucking buying this shit? Why are people buying it? Because they wouldn't do it, it wouldn't be a profitable business model if, Fucking twats didn't buy this shit. The brain dead fucking morons in the Call of Duty community. That's what you've got to blame as well. It's not just Activision and Treyarch's fault. It's the fucking brain dead idiots who buy shit. And then you've got YouTubers who fucking upload themselves buying this shit. They're fucking knobs as well. They're fucking arseholes and they should be fucking, you know, held accountable. <sighs> you know. Activision has got to the point now where David Vonderhaar doesn't give a fuck about multiplayer. He's actually even come out and said on Twitter because people, you know, the community actually wanted a VSAT in the game. They wanted a, you know, no specialist playlist. He was aiming it all at David Vonderhaar because the community thought that it was David Vonderhaar who was responsible for this. I thought he was responsible. And then he comes out and says, well, actually, guys, you know, the only thing I care about is Blackout. Well, let's look at it this way. You you know, there's a few people out there who actually like Blackout, but I think it's just a piss poor attempt, you know, a cash grab of a Battle Royale game. This Battle Royale game is obviously not going to get, you know, more effort put on it. We all know how Call of Duty works. They only give a shit about a video game once, you know, for the year it's out, and then after that, they don't really give a shit. You know, there's, there's the occasional exception to this, you know, where you have, you know, what, what was it, DLC 5 dropping for Black Ops 3 Zombies. You've had recently that um, Sledgehammer have t tweeted out saying they're going to put you know some more weapons into Call of Duty World War 2. And I think the only reason that's happening, at least in the Sledgehammer case, is that Activision needs some more money. They've probably gone and said, right, okay, Black Ops 4 is doing that bad for us. Can you just please you know get some more microtransactions out for us? We need some more money. That's, that's what I think's happened there, but obviously the political spin by the YouTube fucking puppets out here, you know, you, we all know who they are. 
that's going to be, oh, they care so much about the player base, you know, the people who still play Call of Duty World War II, they're putting new content in the game, so people who are enjoying it, blah, blah, blah. It's not that, it's down to fucking money. And if you don't understand how money affects the world, well, how it affects video games, you're either dumb as fuck, or you are that young and naive, you don't understand how the real world works yet. And the second thing there, that's fine. You know, if you're a kid, you don't understand how the world works, wait until you, you know... Your voice breaks or your bollocks drop or, you know, you become on your period or something, you know, then you'll understand how the fucking world works, okay? So don't any of you young squeakers come on this channel going, hey, you're just a fucking hater. Grow the fuck up before you come trying to tell me how the world fucking works because I know I live in the real world, not fucking mummy and daddy's fucking credit card, bank balance bullshit. So yeah, that is ultimately <laughs> how it all works. So let's look at this. Activision, right? Okay, not so much Activision Blizzard, but active. Well, no, let's go Activision Blizzard. Okay, what are they working on? So they're working on a Crash Bandicoot. It's let's face it, it's not gonna make them loads of money. It's not huge. It was years ago, you know, when I was a kid. Yeah, it's still making them a bit of money, but you know, Crash Team Racing, Nitro Fueled, you know. But the biggest titles, right, with Activision Blizzard. Let's look at them here, because there's nothing new. There's nothing which is gonna initially generate them shitloads of money. So. You've got Overwatch, okay, yeah, Overwatch is on a downward curve now, you know, a lot of people think that it's toxic as fuck, a um, bit like this video, <laughs> um, loot boxes are starting to get banned, you know, we've seen a few places in Europe ban them already, um, Hearthstone, a game which I enjoy, but yet again, that's been out for years now, you know, a lot of people have stopped playing the game, it's not as popular as what it once was, World of Warcraft, you know, it's been out forever, like I said, not as popular as what it once was. StarCraft, been out forever. Not as popular as what it once was. And Diablo. Remember, guys, you got a mobile phone, guys. Guys, you got a phone. So, yes, um, Activision, you know, coming out, laying all these people off. It's because of mismanagement. It's mismanagement, it's shitty development teams getting lazy, making shit games. Activision forcing these publishers to make shit games and work more on microtransactions. That is essentially what the fuck is going off here. You know, David Von Haar comes out on Twitter. His ego's that fucking big. He doesn't give a shit. Players, you know, want certain things in the games. They don't listen to the community. Fucking, 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 fucking bullshit. They do not listen to the community. You have games like Fortnite. You know, Fortnite, regardless if you love it or hate it, right, Fortnite actually listen to their community. Do you remember when that Infinity Blade come out? It was in the game. Everybody was like, ooh, this looks good. And then once they realised it was OP as fuck within like a couple of days, they removed it from the game. The people, the community as a whole, wanted the thing removing from the game. It got removed from the game. And they actually even come out and apologised to the community. <laughs> you don't get that in Call of Duty. You get you, this is what we're putting in the game. I don't care if you don't fucking like it. This is in the game, and there you go. You know, and then you've got Apex Legends, which have just come out, which, funnily enough, is made by you know Vince Sapella's team um, at Respawn Entertainment, who used to be the actual proper Infinity War back when Call of Duty was actually decent, um, and they've just come out and knocked it out of the park with Apex Legends. You know, there's a reason why Activision are firing people. And it's because they're in serious trouble. They've got no new IP what's going to come out and blow the world to pieces. You know, it's mismanagement. It's mismanagement. Gamers have had a fucking enough of Activision Blizzard games trying to nickel and dime everybody. Yeah, there's some good games out there for Activision Blizzard, don't get me wrong, you know, which aren't as bad. But Activision, let's drop the Blizzard thing here. Games what Activision have just got themselves involved in, they are terrible, terrible mobile-esque video games with those kind of business models, and people have had enough. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is a fucking disgrace. You know, the game itself is literally Black Ops 3.5. There's not much difference. The only difference is that it's actually worse than Black Ops 3. Video games are going backwards because now it's not about making a good video game. It's about making a video game which is, you know, substandard, but they've got lots of microtransactions in there to make them more money than actually making a good game and releasing that said video game 
on day one. That's what video games are about. It's not just Activision. It's fucking EA. It's fucking everybody. I don't give a fuck what fanboy you are of a video game. If it comes out on day one and it's got DLC content or microtransactions on day one, that is just fucking dreadful. Oh, I know. I've just bought this video game on day one, right? Okay. And it's already got fucking content as DLC. Well, why the fuck wasn't that DLC content there on day fucking one? Or at least try to do what Destiny did and scam people by saying, here's the game on day one and then actually release DLC six months down the line, which actually was cut last minute from the video game. You know, at least try to fool you that way. At least try to mind fuck you that way. But no, they're not going to mind fuck you guys. They don't even need to do that because the minions and the fucking idiots who buy the majority of the video games from Activision don't give a fuck. They fucking woo! They, they do lally. I'm telling you guys, they are fucking do lally. They are deluded fucking idiots that's why they get away with it you know i know what we're gonna do we used to give you this stuff for free back in the day i, I know we're gonna put these reticles and we're gonna charge him yes we'll charge him two dollars that is how we're gonna get our share price back up that's how we're gonna do it guys let's put this red <laughs> reticle in the game from two years ago when black ops 2 had it and we're gonna charge him one dollar they charged one dollar to begin with, and then people obviously bought it. They thought, fuck it, let's go two dollars. Woo! Let's go five! Yes! Let's solve it! I fucking lost it, guys. You want to know why Activision Blizzard are firing people and laying people off, whatever you want to fucking call it, same thing. It's because of complete misfucking management. And I do genuinely feel for the people who are getting laid off because um, it's not nice. But let's face it, you know. They've worked for a corporation where they don't care about the video games, they don't care about the players, and lastly and not least, they don't care about the staff. They care about one thing, fucking money. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, share it, and remember guys, if you got triggered by this video, I don't really give a fuck.